Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Energy News Beat Daily Stand Up. My name is Stu Turley, President and CEO of the Sandstone Group. Michael's out on assignment today, and we are covered over on the news desk. Let's go over our stories today. Diamond issues dire warning about treacherous geopolitical situation. China initiates huge military drills around Taiwan's warning to island president. Israel attack on Iran's oil bases could have massive repercussions and may help Trump's chances of winning election. Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley urges CIOs to explore Bitcoin mining stocks amid rising energy prospects. Google backs blackout of small nuclear reactors in Kairos deal. It's pretty cool. Love nuclear stories. Let's start with our geopolitical trio here coming around the corner. Had an uh, outstanding podcast today with David Blackman, Irina Slav, and Tammy Nemeth on the energy realities. And we also had a special guest, Christopher Messina. And I'm going to talk about him here in a little bit on the Bitcoin mining discussion that we had on AI. He wrote a book, Messina's Federal Budget. And I've invited him to come on the podcast and visit about finances and everything else. So lots of great content coming around the corner. But let's start with Jamie Dimon issues dire warning about the treacherous geopolitical situation. He is the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, and he has cited very big, uh, particularly the Middle East, as a major factor contributing to uncertainty. He's also talking about political economic challenges in the United States, including inflation, fiscal deficits, and infrastructure issues. Quote, there is a significant human suffering and the outcome of these situations could have far reaching effects on both short term economic outcomes and more importantly, the course of history, Diamond said on the bank's third quarter earnings release. He said his bank is closely monitoring the geopolitical situation for some time and recent events show that conditions are treacherous and getting worse. This is huge. Jamie Dimon has had a, a lot of good points in the past. He says, Iran, North Korea, and Russia, I think you can legitimately call them an evil axis, he told reporters at the Financial Markets Quality conference in Washington in September, referring to a term that's first used by President George W. Bush to describe Iraq. While we hope for the best, these events and prevailing uncertainty demonstrate why we must be prepared for any environment. I'll tell you, he's been running at J.P. Morgan for 18 years, and he emphasized the board will do the right thing on succession when he eventually leaves. I'll tell you, he is saying again, all of our hearts and prayers go out to Hurricane Helene and Milton. And again, we are, our hearts and prayers go out for that travesty. Let's go to China. China initiates huge military drills around Taiwan warrant in a warning to island's president they launched a military drills encircling the self-governing island of taiwan which taipei has blasted as unreasonable provocation china's pla military deployed warships and fighter jets to stern warning against separatist acts of taiwan independence forces this is actually a a mind-blowing event when you sit back and think about if they are going to re-annex, and they've never been a, a, Taiwan was never part of China, but if they're going to annex Taiwan, you would think that now's the time to do it before President Trump wins the election. So they must feel that he is going to win the election and that they may have only this time. I don't know. Beijing is presenting these new drills as necessary response to a speech last Thursday by Taiwan's President Lai on the occasion of National Day. He emphasized that People's Republic China has no right to represent Taiwan. This is a an issue of showing that you're going to have either a, a choice when you go to the vote and early voting is going to be in Texas and I'll be there. And that is when you take a look at whether or not you can vote for Trump, which he had no wars, 
And when you take a look at all the wars with the Democrats, I'm a no war kind of guy. So let's go over to the next one here. An Israeli attack on Iran's oil bases could have massive repercussions, and that may help tr Trump's chances of winning the election. I hope they don't hit the Iran's oil infrastructure only from the standpoint that it would, the Iran did not have any oil income under Trump because of the way he handled sanctions. Sanctions have been mishandled by this administration and weaponization of the dollar has occurred and allowed Iran to make a lot of money. If Israel takes out the Karg Island and takes out 95% of their export capacity, I think it's going to do a lot more to oil and harm the, the economy now from the standpoint of now you're going to have China who is buying all of the oil. I believe they're buying 70 to 80% of that oil of the three and a half million barrels per day. China is buying that. China has been buying it because they think they're going to war. That is not, that is what countries normally do is when they go to war, they buy all the energy that they possibly can. Now, Israel is thought to have deeply penetrated Iran with intelligent assets. A covert attack on its infrastructure or government is possible. We don't know, but this is some unbelievable stuff going on around the world. I've never seen this kind of a mess. Next story coming around the corner. Morgan Stanley urges CIOs to explore Bitcoin mining stocks amid rising energy prospects. Um, policies for new power generation coupling by coupling data centers with dedicated power generation. The report projected a surge in the value repurposed industrial sites and energy driven facilities. We're seeing this with the advent of the reopening of the three mile island going into for the, the AI. Now we're seeing this also going into crypto mining as well, too. Now, that being said, I did have a conversation with Christopher Menzi, and he is the author of Mencian's Federal Budget, and he is saying that Bitcoin is coming around the corner and you're going to be able to use very little power in order to mine for Bitcoin, and I want to really find out more about that discussion but when you sit back into AI infrastructure and Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin mining has been a boon for the EMP operators that could use that to help raise income and burn stranded natural gas and, and help the environment. So I'm not a anti-Bitcoin miner from the standpoint is if you use it in the right property in the right way, there is a great use for Bitcoin mining as a revenue source. Pretty cool article on that. So let's also take a look at the last story for today. Google backs build out of small nuclear reactors in Kairos deal. You know, just like taking a look at the, the uh, Three Mile Island deal on this, the deal which will back 500 megawatts of power includes Kairos's 50 megawatt demonstration Hermes project in Tennessee, followed by commercial scale reactors at 75 megawatts. Big technology companies are racing in line to power supply. We're looking for new net clean power, Terrell said. We're not looking to repurpose their existing clean power. So they're really looking for net zero type power, which is nuclear. This is exciting from the standpoint that we do need to reopen the nuclear business and environment in the United States. And I am I couldn't be more happy about that. David Blackman articulated that very well on the Energy Realities podcast, which is also, you can see this on our YouTube channel. He articulated that very well, and it was very uh, telling that the Three Mile Island accident was vandalized, if you would, or brutalized by the way that it was reported and, and really ruined the atomic energy in the United States for years. 
So I'm hoping that this can overcome that and we can see a re renaissance in nuclear energy. So with that, like, subscribe, also share, tell your friends, but also when you go to the Energy Newsbeat, we have resources there, energynewsbeat.co, and also check out, is your portfolio okay? Click on that link and say, do I really need a investing in oil and gas? I want to know from you, do you need a tax deduction? Do you like regular mailbox money? let me know. With that, thanks and look forward to speaking to you tomorrow.